I'll be honest, looking it over, you clean this at what, four o'clock in the morning? It doesn't done. look that bad. I got done at 4.30, you can tell there's some, there's some chunks. There's some, <laughs> nah. That's the thing about bow fishing, you're done in the morning and you're just so tired, you're dying to go to bed, and you're like, nah, I gotta fillet these things. Mm -hmm. But with meat this good, it's kind of worth it. So snakehead are from uh, Asia. So I went with a Thai inspired recipe. We're gonna make kind of a, you can't really call it a salsa because it's from Asia. So we're gonna go with a sauce. It's made with cilantro, some peppers, lime juice, some fish sauce. We're gonna take that and make a paste. We're gonna cook the fish, put that paste on top, and then you're gonna try it first. <laughs> So every Thai recipe has a spicy chili in it. Yeah. This is the one we're using today. I cut the tip off and I'd like you to lick it. I I would like to, l I, licking it, in, I can't, I can't <laughs> lick it and not get some a finger. You Can go. you hold it? There you go. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Hot. Uh, spicy. Uh, <laughs> we're using a different one for the recipe, but that. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. I'm gonna pre-eat the grill, you get the fish ready. You gotta lime the fish. Make sure the whole fish is covered in that lime juice. You're gonna hit it with a good couple pinches of salt. Get that in there. And you're gonna flip it over. Do the same with the other half. Get that in, it's good to go. All right. I've got it set at 400. Perfect. It'll take about three to five minutes per side. We'll flip it halfway through, and then you go with a fork until it flakes, just like most fish, and it's good to eat. All right, let's get your little sauce going. Okay. First, you're gonna grab your mortar and pestle, then you're gonna grab your dry ingredients. You're gonna get your garlic in here. You're gonna take each ingredient, and you're gonna start to kind of mush it up here, so that way you get little individual pieces. So you got garlic, then we'll go with the ginger, and as you add each piece, for each ingredient, you're blending them and breaking down each previous ingredient a little bit more. And we're gonna add the pepper. Get that going in there. And we're gonna add some cilantro. And this is a good amount of cilantro, so you're going to add it a little bit at a time, so that way you're not trying to fight with an entire cup of cilantro all at once. And then now, once you got about half the cilantro in, we'll start adding all the liquids. So you've got soy sauce, You've got fish sauce, got a little splash of water, and then what you're looking for is all of the little bits as you're breaking them down are gonna to start to become about the same size. You don't want anything in here that stands out as a larger ingredient. End up with a nice green sauce that will go right on top of that snake head. It's about done. I'm gonna try and not massacre the fish taking it off because it flakes so much. It's like a harder texture to all, all my, Oh my, it's not gonna be pretty, Jeff. If it if it flakes, you know it's done at least. Oh. Oh, hey. oh you got oh, most of it. Oh, 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 hey, it's gonna taste good. Hey. One thing I can confirm. Look, no, 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 it's a, it's a puzzle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. with you Jeff as far as the recipes go this 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 ain't the prettiest <laughs> hey, 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 hey. oh now it now it's beautiful I'm sorry I try to make them interesting I don't just deep fry everything well to be honest with you you had the deep fried fish at foxy fish and it was great oh, good. oh yeah there's a, a reasonable good. amount I like yeah. it though that's pretty good the meat is so the texture chickeny Mm -hmm. I'd go out and shoot some more. I get that it's ugly, but the recipe's pretty good. 